Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to take a map from OpenStreetMap and turn it into a sumo simulation. So right now I am on OpenStreetMap.org and I'm actually right in, uh, I went straight to downtown Orlando. Um, I chose Orlando because one, I live here and two, this is actually a very, very complete map and I don't want to spend a lot of time in this video processing the map for Sumo, so this is actually a very good map. So what I want to do is I want to click export and I am going to manually select an area and I'm going to go from Robinson Street all the way down to South Street. And if you can see here, you'll notice like uh, these are one way streets. So South Street is actually a one way street. Ros Rosalind's a one-way street. This is South Orange Blossom. So this is actually nice because it's actually going to m mess with the flow. So it's not going to be just a really simple, um, everything's a grid. So this is actually a nice map here. So after I have selected the area that I want, I am going to click export. So what will happen is you get to download the OSM file. So this is uh, downtown Orlando. I actually have it downloaded here. So we'll just download right over it. So now the OSM file has been downloaded. So um, the data sometimes in OpenStreetMap is not completely ready for traffic simulation. And, but in this case, this actually has a lot of the information that we need, but you can enhance the information. So you can do this by using JOSM, which is a Java, it's a, a Java tool for um, editing OpenStreetMap. So you can open your OpenStreetMap file and then the data set will be rendered. And if you had any warnings, you can see the warnings around it. You can also just see all the information here. So if we click into one of those one-way roads that I was pointing at, so this is South Orange Blossom, so this is South Orange Blossom, you can see that uh, one, it's a highway, its value is a primary highway, it has three lanes, it has the speed limit on it, and you can see that it is one way. It actually even holds information around like what asphalt type is. And this has all actually been provided by users. So people go in and they uh, provide this information. So depending on where you're hoping to export that data, um, if it's a less popular area, you probably aren't going to have as much contributions to it. So maybe you will have to contribute to it. And I would suggest just going to... Um, OpenStreetMap and reading about how you can contribute to these maps. If we open up the OSM file and view it in Notepad, you can see that it's an XML file and it holds all the nodes and coordinates and information about it. And actually within here, you can actually see the users who contributed to that uh, node information. So this is, this is really nice. If you wanted to, you could uh, remove unnecessary objects like this is the fountain in Lake Yola. Uh, we don't really need it for our simulation, so we could remove it. Uh, but a lot of this information will actually be deleted for us when we are running netconvert in Sumo. So let's run uh, netconvert. So we're going to open up the command line right here. And we're going to run our netconvert operator. Now we're going to do the very basic portion of this. We're just going to use the OSM file, but you can use different options and specify specific uh, rules around the highways and motorways and how the speed limit would be different for um, if it's primary versus secondary, just how, how the speed limits may be or the number of lanes. We're going to just use this OSM file as it is right now. So we are going to type net convert dash dash OSM dash files and then the file name in this case is going to be downtown dot OSM and then we need to give an output file. So this will be dash dash output file and it will be let's call it downtown dot net dot XML. And then you can tell um, different options for it. So in this case, we're going to say geometry dot remove. 
And um, I don't think there are any roundabouts, but if there is, we're gonna write roundabouts dot guess. It's just guessing on how the traffic will be. And um, if there's ramps, I selected specifically areas that um, were not part of the ramps, but just in case, if there's ramps, we're gonna tell it to guess as well. And then um, rules around the junction. So let's say junctions are going to join and um, we'll let it guess our traffic light signals. So that's TLS dot guess signals. And then we'll say traffic light signals, discard the simple ones, and let's also join our traffic light signals. Now, these are a lot of options and you can read up on every one and there's even more to it. These are just the ones that I think of as standard when I am converting an OSM file to a Sumo network file. So we have a lot of warnings, um, but it is successful at the end. So let's open up our Sumo GUI and see what this network looks like. So here is the generated network file. And actually uh, some of the footpaths, uh, the information within OSM went beyond our line, but that's okay. So this is our overall Orlando, downtown Orlando map. You can even see the outline because these are the footpaths, the sidewalks around the lake that we captured. So we can see all this information and this is now the network for our Sumo map. Now, if you wanted to, you can read through all these warnings. And I actually suggest that you do read through these warnings so that you can understand them. It gives you an idea how you can improve this map to make it more suitable for Sumo. So for instance, if we go up here, it didn't know what a uh, cycleway was. So it had this uh, cycleway, which was the uh, bike path. So there was a bike path and had different types of rules around it. So it didn't understand what those compounds meant. There was a warning where they weren't able to find a way to get from one reference to another ref in relation to each other. So there was a, a path that didn't uh, they didn't know how to create. The junctions weren't able to join. We have some ambiguity with turnarounds. And then there's some very sharp turns, which you can see there's some paths that have extremely sharp turns because those are more of a walkway. So they found some sharp turns or angles that were strange. All these things you can look at and you can slowly clean it up, especially it labels the edges. So you can know how to clean up, how to make it a better file for Sumo. So now that we've created the Sumo network based on OpenStreetMap, let's create some trips on it. So we're going to use Sumo's random trips Python script. So here I'm going to write random trips Python. And then I'm going to pass in the network file. In this case, this is downtown.net.xml. So let's make this a rather large trip because we might lose a lot to invalid routes. So I'm going to actually make this about a thousand. And then I am going to do our output to be downtown.trips.xml. So after we've created these trips, we need to convert them to roots. So we're going to do that with the Dua router. We're going to take in our network file again, which is downtown.net.xml. And then our root file, which will be downtown.trips.xml. And then our output will be our root file. So that will be downtown.roo.xml. And we have a little bit of errors because we're gonna actually have some roots that aren't good. So uh, I just forgot to add which a flag to ignore errors. So now we have uh, built a root file for our network and a few of the vehicles did not actually have a valid route. So we have a few that uh, didn't have a connection and that's fine. 
So finally, we have the last part of our tutorial is to create our, our Sumo configuration. So let's go to our file here and we're going to make a new document and this will be downtown.sumo.cfg. And we're gonna add the XML in this needed to configure our simulation. In this case, this will be our configuration and I made this uh, be a thousand seconds. So I'm gonna just make our end time be 1000. So we're going to save this and then let's open up this simulation in Sumo. So I'm gonna open this Sumo simulation. So here is our Sumo file. Let's zoom in a little bit and we can watch our vehicles and they're moving very, very quickly but you could see the vehicles going there. Zoom in a little bit, you can see the vehicles that were traveling along. So congratulations, you have just learned how to take a map from OpenStreetMap and turn it into a Sumo simulation. With this tiny tutorial, you should be able to go forward and make some more complex simulations.